How's it guys and welcome back to the channel and to another guide. This time it's for Mass Effect Legendary Edition for all three games. In this guide we will be going through all the things you need to do to uh, mod Mass Effect to look like my showcase which is the video that's playing at the moment. If you haven't checked out this video then the link will be in the description below so you can view the full video. But the knowledge that you receive in this video will help you mod your Mass Effect to whatever the way you want to mod it and not just look like mine. This is also a noob guide so I will be going nice and slowly step by step for you guys. For others that are more comfortable modding this video also has chapters so just click on the chapter that you are interested in and get right into the part that you actually want to know more about. So view this video as a one-stop all-encompassing guide that will help you get started with modding Mass Effect and once again all links are in the description below and let's get started. The three main modding tools we need to start this guide will be this one. It's uh, ME3 Tweaks Mod Manager as well as the Trilogy Save Editor. Now I did say three and not just two. Now the third one is the Mass Effect uh, Modder. Now you can download that separately but it comes within the Tweaks Mod Manager. So if you just download these two uh, you will get all three. Now let's just download those two apps first. Now that those two apps have been downloaded, let's first just talk about um, file structure. Now this is uh, not needed, but this will just help you um, keep track of your mods and as well as this guide. So what I do is I create a tweaks mod manager and then a tweaks mods. These are the mods, as you can see, there's all the mods over there that you download from Nexus mods that get installed via Tweak Mod Manager as well as the um, other mods which are texture files really which use the Mass Effect Modder app and those mods are stored within this folder over here. Now you will get some um, Tweak Mods if I can call it that, uh, that nickname for now that require you to install it into Mod Manager but then the next step will be to use the Trilogy save editor to actually show within game, right? So that's why I've created the fourth folder, which is just the Trilogy save editor, which you also have to install. But let's just get started with installing the Tweak Smart Manager. So we'll double click, this pop-up should come up. So you can install it wherever you want to install it. I save it in the same place as where this uh, extractor is. So let's just go to my games, mods, games, and Mass Effect over here in this folder. This is where the exe is already. So we'll click OK. It'll create the folder as well. So we'll just click OK. It will extract it. This pop up. This is just the folder that it created over here. Go into that and you'll see an exe right so we'll double click on that and you'll see it load up you see other files also being created the mods and things like that so when you install your mods um, it'll go into that folder now very important you should back up each of your games i'm not going to do it for this guide because i don't have enough space on my drives <laughs> i know what i'm doing but it's always good because if you do something wrong, um, your game will break, right? So then all you can do is just uh, revert to the backup that, that you got and always back up the vanilla game. So I've just installed the game. It's a clean version. But what you should do is back up your games, right? So when you open it up, you will see over here. So it'll ask you to point to the Mass Effect launcher and things like that, right? You're going to back that up. And over here, this is uh, so this is just the path of where I've installed Mass Effect 2, right? So it should find it on your computer like this. And then all you do is click backup. I'm not going to do that, like I said. And let's move on. So this is Mod Tweaks Mod Manager, right? As you can see, we've got the original Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. When you click on it, it just highlights it. So if you highlight on it, then it will show all the mods that you've installed for that game as well as that game, that game, that game, as well as the launch all in this space over here. Since nothing's installed, nothing will show up. 
we don't need Mass Effect, uh, the original Mass Effect uh, 1, 2, and 3. See, this is Legendary Edition 1, Legendary Edition 2, and so on. So over here, on top right, we can just click on this to just deselect it so we can... So it's just clean and so, it's, so we know we're just dealing with the Legendary Edition. And the bar you see over here is also very important. This is just showing you where uh, the target um, installation, right? So that's Mass Effect 3. This automatically came up to Mass Effect 3. And then it's, if you don't see any of the um, game targets over here, right? All you have to do is go to add target and go and look for where you've installed the game. Um, I've installed it on another drive just for this demo. Um, it'll be here, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, game. So there's launcher, ME1, ME2, I think in binaries, 64, and over there. And then you just click open and it should, you know, come up within this list. So I'll leave it at Mass Effect 3. For your backups and restores, this is where you go to restore any of your games you want to um, restore. These are the different tools. This is, see, this is that um, third app that we were speaking about, Mass Effect Modder for Legendary Edition. That's where you launch it from. And as well as a couple of other stuff that you don't have to worry about for now. Oh, and before we get started, what you should also do, which is just good practice, is that you start Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, and just go to the main menu of the game before you start modding. So in that way, you know, all the different files get uh, created and things like that, and, and you know the game actually launches. So after everything is set up, let's start modding. Now there are two types of mods. There's mods that you install via this app, as well as mods that you install via Mass Effect Modder, right? So let me just open this. You'll see it'll start, uh, start downloading Mass Effect Modder and then we'll open it up. This is another app. This is for your textures. We'll get to this later on in this guide, but just so you know, this is used for textures. This is used for other mods and the mod that you download, if you read the description, it will explain exactly uh, what is needed, right? Some mods need both where you install it into this mod over here and then activate, let's say activate it with this one over here. The other very important thing is that once you get to this step, this is your last step when you're changing the textures. Because once you change, once you start changing textures, you can't change anything that is happening in this tweaks mod manager anymore. You can't add uh, or even kind of disable. Uh, well, I stay away from that. They are kind of ways, but it's a little bit more complicated, and it's not. And I'm not going to speak about that uh, in this guide. But first, make sure all the mods that you want that uses this is installed into this one first and then you go into this so let's just close this for now so the important mods that you will always need will be the patches first right so everyone needs to install the patches no matter what mod that you want to install um, first go and get the mod patches so there's the le1 le is obviously legendary edition one community patch there's the official le2 patch unofficial excuse me and then the le3 community patch right so if you go into here there's optional ones but these are for modders and things so it's just this one over here download this manually you could also use mod manager and when you use mod manager it'll actually download it within um let me just get to this it, it'll download it with, with within this uh mod manager so let's actually do these are a little bit big <laughs> But uh, let's just give it a go. Hey guys, this is Future Beyond here. Um, there's just been a development when it comes to Windows Defender that uh, when for the LE1 community patch, uh, you're getting a false positive and I've just started to download it now, uh, again. And this is just the latest uh, file that got uh, uh, updated. And you see there, it's stuck already. So Windows Defender should come up here with a, a Trojan detected. Let's just wait and find out. Yeah, see, yeah, the uh, threat found. Um, there is a post that says this is a false positive because this file was uploaded uh, a few, um, several weeks before uh, the Defender started doing this. I also seen some things that um, Windows Defender is also giving um, 
false positives to old uh, Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop um, apps. Um, so the workaround for this at the moment, um, because they're obviously working on it, it's something that Windows Defender done. You know, I don't know if um, uh, Windows is uh, maybe seeing any file that uh, closely resembles a, a PlayStation file, if you know what I mean, and <laughs> deleting it. Okay, I've tested it three times. So to get around this problem, this is just for this guide and for Mass Effect mods. What you should do is go to Windows Security, Windows Security, uh, click on that one, go to Virus and Protection, Go down to manage settings and over here real-time protection turn that off for a second say yes go back to your community patch and click download you obviously get that message to say hey turn it on Let's just tell windows we're gonna turn it on in a short while and start download Okay, now that it's off, uh, you'll see it won't uh, flag it anymore because it's uh, <laughs> antivirus is off. So what you do from there is just put it in your folder that of choice. I'm going to put it back in its patches folder and just minimize this. Just install it quickly. First import. After import's complete, then apply the mod. Okay, once that's installed, you go back to your antivirus and then turn it back on. And that's uh, how you get past that uh, situation. Anyway, back to the guide. So if you use Mod Manager, you just click on it. It'll ask you, oh, do you want to download via tweaks, right? You'll say download. slow download and then I'll ask you over there open tweak smart manager and then mod manager will do it all by itself just cancel that I have it already or you could which is what I favor is to manually download it and once you manually download it we'll go to the tweaks mods that I've downloaded so here's all the patches so all we do is just minimize this, bring this back up over here. You'll just click, you leave everything within the zip. You just click and you drag over till you see how that arrow changed over there and drop it in. This will come up. So when you do it from Nexus mods and you know, and you click download via um, uh, the mod manager, then after it does its downloading, this will also pop up. So you will end up in the same place. It'll, it'll stop at this stage. What I do is you should click the import button and let it import. Wait for this thing to complete. Okay, that screen will automatically go away and you'll see the community patches here within the, um, the mod section, right? So if you'll see here, this is highlighted LE1 because it's for LE1. If I just uncheck it it'll go away and it'll only show mods for le 2 3 and the launcher so that's what this actually does so that's not it we just imported uh, the mod right so when you import the mod it puts the mod within the mods folder in in the tweak manager itself you see that mods uh, file over here so what i do is i download the mod so i effectively just double uh, what I have, right? Because I don't like apps controlling uh, mods that I have. So I have the mod separate, which is the zip, and then I tell the app, oh, you can also import it into um, into your own file structure. But if you just want to import it into uh, it's out into the mods file structure and not download it and double up the, your your space, um, then you can do it via Nexus Mods, the way I showed you. So once you've come to this spot, you'll just click on this and you'll click apply mods. So we'll click apply mods and there's no backup. It'll ask you there's no backup. Are you sure you want to install? I'm a wild man. So, you know, danger is my middle name. So we'll click yes, do it without the backup. You should back up the game. 
and you just let it run. This doesn't take that long, maybe a minute. Okay, that's done. So as you can see, it automatically changed to ME1 because that's the patch that I have and it also changed over here. So when you start the game, it starts uh, Mass Effect 1. Um, you don't have to worry about that for now. Uh, and you don't have to start the game using this um, app. You can start it your normal way, either via Steam or uh, Xbox Game Pass, which just uses the, the, the EA uh, app itself. So number two and number three is exactly the same. Click and drag and drop. And we'll go import and let it import. So once I imported that, let's just apply this mod. It'll ask you, what do you want to um, install? So this, as you can see, is unchecked because I'm playing in English. You will tick this if you're playing in French, German or Italian. So I don't need this and that's what I want. And we'll click install. Yes, asking, it's asking again about the uh, backup. I say yes. Okay, and that's done. Um, the only thing that I can say that they should change is when you click the apply mod, like we just done, that you maybe turn this to maybe a green button or something green to show like, okay, you've already uh, applied it. Because sometimes when I click and drag and I drop a couple in here, um, I forget which ones I apply and which ones I don't. And I'm always so scared to apply over what I've already done in case it breaks something. But if you want to do batch installs, I think it's somewhere over here where you can, oh yeah, batch mod installer, you can click on that. It's just, it's just as easy to click and drag each one by itself. Oh, we'll click and drag the Legendary Edition Part 2. This is also what we want to install. Click Import. Okay, after we've imported uh, LA2, you'll see also the unofficial uh, patch launcher video fix has also been included within LA2. Um, we'll click on LA2 over here and click apply mod click yes you will say you won't get that because you've backed up and trust me i know when you've backed up or not so don't be a naughty boy or girl and back up your stuff okay after that's done we'll click on the patch launcher and click apply mod and then that's done once your patches are done, you can start modding or adding whatever mods that you want, right? But also first read the description because some mods will tell you to, you have to install it before another mod or something like that, you know, compatibility, compatibility and stuff, which is what the patches are that you have to install that first. So that's why we do that first. But the next one will be the better camera for LE1, better camera for LE2 and better camera for LE3. So this is the same process, right? Is my camera mods it's all three so all you have to do is click and drag it into this and you import it first and then you install it or apply mod so the first beta camera mod for le1 after I've imported it we'll click apply and then it will ask you which field of view do you want right so it gives you different fields of views so if you click on here it'll actually bring down this drop down menu it's kind of hidden, you know, so we click here, so you'll see the 90 and 100 as well as the 110. So whichever one you want, I like 90 normally when I play my games. Um, and every game is different, you know, so um, you can change it afterwards, I believe, but I have not tried that yet, but let us go for 90. So when you click on 90, you'll see it changes there to 90. And then you just click install. And there it's installed. So you do that for LE2 and LE3 as well. Okay, that's better camera mods. That's now installed. We'll go to the next mod. The next mod are big mods, right? So this is a lot of videos. These upscale all the videos. You can read the description of what it does you know it upscales many of the videos and things like that so there's this one as well as the video for the relay jump which is remastered for le2 so if you go to the files there's a torrent version as well as le1 le2 and le3 so it's those three that you want to download 
these are huge right where is that file size again um, 2 gigs 5 gig or 3 gigs 5 gigs and 14 gigs right so that's why they gave a torrent uh, link as well and for the rally uh, jump it is 30 megabytes because it's just that one video so if you want this download it if you don't want it skip to the next section I of course have downloaded it which is over here so all we'll do is click and drag it in click and drag import and after it imports we'll click apply mods we'll do this for all three so I'll just skip to the last part all four files have been installed and now you can play the game and the videos will all be 4k 60 as well so you won't get that jarring uh, change from gameplay to when a video plays and uh, looking different or playing at 30 frames per second the next mod is a really good one the expanded galaxy mod so this does a hell of a lot um, not just opening up the galaxy map from the start for Mass Effect 3 but it also adds new guns armor you can change um, the Normandy in many ways and add uh, um, different crew members who's the cook and who's not so you can really uh, kind of immerse yourself in Mass Effect and role play even more than what you could there's new mission uh, varieties the mission timings and conveniences so when you want to install this there's the main mod and I also suggest that you choose the EGM fixed weapons in cutscenes for LE2 so some of the um, weapons were backwards or something like that uh, and many other things so download this as well and install it once once you've downloaded the mod all you have to do is click and drag over as per usual this is a little bit different so just let it do its thing and import the mod once the mods imported click apply and now uh, this is where things are a little bit different right so this is where you're going to do all your different um, options that you want to do for uh, the Normandy so you'll see uh, the full uh, here's your choices that that you have your core quality of life features or, or the full one that uh, the thing has keep in mind that this first one here says it's an alpha untested via a playthrough so I haven't heard any uh, problems with it but uh, you know it's always good to read and know what you're actually uh, installing and this is obviously just the quality of life features you're gonna have to go through this and uh, perhaps go into the forum of them um, and perhaps go into the forum and you know have a read at the articles or posts and see um, and see what people are saying but these, this is a squad mate pack as well as all of this stuff is what I've um, selected and I'm keeping this at uh, Normandy overall and core okay so we'll click install and have it run once that runs this will come up right so once again this these are the mod settings so this is where you're gonna have to go through all the different things and make sure that your choices is the choices that you want um, because if it's not all you want to change you're gonna have to de deactivate the mod and uninstall it and if you have textures applied then it's gonna be a little bit more difficult where you're gonna have to install the backup of the original game and do it all over again see so security scanners as well as the Citadel docking uh, the cockpit door so it explains everything that you need to do right and the Normandy radio everything like that the mission timings so you can leave everything as uh, as it is at the moment you see the bonus squad mates and non bonus squad mates all available as you can see here this is what I changed I just changed this to non story mode armors and outfits so you can decide which outfits that you want for casual Garrus and, and for Ash Ashley and things like that but this is the casual wear once you're happy with all your choices this next button is just going through the tabs right so you don't have to worry too much about the next button but we'll just click finish and the mod has now been successfully installed right so we'll just go to the EGM fixed weapons mod click that over import it and apply mod and that's done the next one's also a good one and a must have in my opinion 
it's Pinnacle Station DLC. As everyone knows by now that the Pinnacle Station DLC from the original trilogy could not be ported to the Legendary Edition because they've lost the source code and things like that. And this billion dollar company couldn't get it right. So I took uh, three guys in their mother's basement to uh, get it right. And now we can install it as a mod and you can actually play through the Pinnacle Station DLC in the Legendary mode. And they've done a hell of a lot of work as well with this, uh, you know, upscaled a lot of different things and remastered it. So all we have to do is download this mod. And bonus as well, we'll also be downloading the Pinnacle Station Apartment for LE2 and the Pinnacle Station Apartment for LE3. So that once you're in uh, Mass Effect 2 and 3, you can actually go visit your apartment from the DLC. So here's the three uh, mods for Pinnacle Station. We'll install the main mod first. I'm sure you get the point to how to install these mods now. So if I skip to just showing the mod over here and uh, the mod is being applied, take it as all you have to do is just click and drag over, import and apply mod. So if you see the mod over here, then you'll know it's the same process. In Pinnacle Station Apartment LE2 mod, once you apply mod, this will come up. Uh, you don't have to worry about this. This is uh, set by the mod developer, but just make sure that that's uh, ME2. It should be, shouldn't have a problem. You just click install there and have it install. And then all Pinnacle Station DLCs and apartments have been, uh, have been added to the game. Onto the next mod. The next mod is Take Earth Back. This overall is the final mission in Mass Effect 3. You know, uh, uh, and you can have a read, you should have a read through all of these mods so you know what you are getting yourself into. Um, but you know, it aims to represent all your, I'm just reading what it says, it aims to represent all your allies uh, you have gathered over the course of the trilogy. You know, there's some bug fixes and things like that as well. But uh, so, you know, because I remember when I played the, the final mission, it, it did feel like, uh, it was just me and the, the guys that I just picked and not everyone. I was expecting everyone to like run in and things like that, you know. So this fixes it that, uh, as you can see here, that uh, you can see everyone that uh, you've accrued and things like that. So it's again for immersion as well as a couple of other things, you know. Dialogue fixes and new dialogues uh, that are brought in that were cut out. So it's just one file to download. So take Earth back. It's the same thing. Drag it over, import. Once it's done importing, apply mod. Then we'll click apply mod. This is for people that use the Re Reaper retrofit patch. Uh, this is the Reaper retrofit mod. I don't have this, I'm not going to use it, but if you are going to use it, then you need to check this box over here and click install. Okay, that's done. The next mod is Better Appearance Modification Menu for Mass Effect 3. So this, as you can see here, just allows you to, you know, um, um, select different armors and things like that. But it allows you to select different armors from other mods. So when you've downloaded other mods and, uh, like, let me just see, like, uh, not for LE1 or LE2, but for LE3, it's compatible. And, and this mod over here, you don't have to go into uh, the save editor to actually put on the mod. It will be actually in-game. So this is a big quality of life uh, mod. And I suggest you download it. So once you've got your mod, drag it over. Import it. This one should go quick. And apply mod. Once that's done, we'll go to the next mod, which will be the new armors. Now I'm doing a Femship run, right? So we are going to do new armors for Femship. If you want other armors, there's a ton of armors for Male Shepherd, uh, for uh, other armors for Female Shepherd. But we're going to do for LE1, which is the new armors for her, as well as the EGM armors for LE2 and 3 for Femship, as well as the Femship helmet clipping fix and death mask fix, right? So for the new armors for Femship LE1, there's only one file to download. For EGM armors for LE2 and 3, there's two files to download, LE2 and LE3. And 
For the helmet clipping fix, there's just one file. Once you have the mods downloaded, let's do the Femtrip LE1 uh, armor set first. We can drag over. You'll have choices over here. So once you go to the mod page, right? And let's just go to this. Click on these images and then you'll see, you'll see at the bottom there, Miranda's armor. If you actually want Miranda's armor or Caden's armor, we're going to choose Caden's armor because I like this black uh, version. Um, but all these different versions have their own names, right? Once you're here, okay, we're going to import first. Once it's imported, let's just wait for a bit. There we go. We're going to click apply mod and this should come up, right? So I'm not using any casuals. That's why this thing doesn't uh, require it, but you might have to, depending on your mods that you've installed already and things like that. But here you choose, you see? So at the moment it's that. Um, so when you start the game, you start the game with uh, that armor. That's not what I want. I want, I think it was Cadence, right? So we go down to Cadence armor, this one, and we'll click on that one. And there we've selected it and click install. And now it's installed. So we can do the LE2 armors. Import. And click apply mod. Also, same thing. You might have the, the mod. And if you do, you can tick it. It should automatically tick it, I think. And click install. And now let's go for LE3. Import. And apply mod add armors as helmets as parts see here's all the different things that you can do we must have that right so this thing what this thing does as you can read here add each armor as a separate torso and helmet in addition to the full body versions allows mixing and matching of armor sets yes please want that opaque visors as you can see over there so you can see the eyes or not yes please more immersive base cat 6 armor textures Genia has enhanced the Cat 6 armor for Femship with improved textures on the left. Select to install the original Citadel DLC version on the right. Mm, no, thank you. Alright, so these are my choices. Click install. There's also the helmet clipping fix, which I've got to download. So I got it now. Bring that over. Import. This should go super quick. You click apply once it's done ask you yes of course that's what i want click install all right now we're done now the next mod is femship hair pack right so i've got for le1 as well as for le2 and le3 it's all the same one right another femship hair pack which is from moraxix um because i want to keep the same hairstyle maybe throughout my run i don't know i might change but there's one that i do like there's a ton of hairstyles from um morning morning's hair which actually the morning's hair one is compatible with um this mod over here the better appearance mod so you know so it will be in in there um but you you do you and you go and find the hair pack that you like and some hair packs are different from others uh where you might just use the uh, Mass Effect modder and some use the the tweaks modder as well as the Mass Effect modder. This one you use tweaks, but then to actually set your hair, you need to use the Trilogy Save Editor. We're going to get to that. I think I, uh, earlier I said uh, some hairs use the uh, Mass Effect modder. I meant the Save Trilogy alone, but all in good time. So we just download all three of these uh, hairs, which I've done already. See, here's the morning hairstyle as well. You can also install that over here. And that's we're going to do that so that I can change if I want to change. But uh, for now, let's just do the one from the video, right? From my uh, showcase. So click and drag over. Import. Apply mod. That's all it's going to do, right? It's not going to give you anything else. Okay, so we've installed the three uh, airs uh, from one, two, and three that I like. There's also the morning air styles. You, you can also install these uh, in at the same time as these, right? So uh, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to do that at the moment. It's just for a, as an example. 
let's go to the next mod which will be Saren stages so this allows Saren to you can you can either look as a vanilla Saren or as uh, this new one where he looks like a Sith Lord but some people don't like the Sith Lord look but he changes throughout the game so he changes from uh, throughout the game you know and looks a little bit more with his Geth implants uh, through his indoctrination let's go to that that's the Saren stages so we'll click and drag over there is a choice that you have to make here so we'll first in import the mod and click apply mod and now it'll ask you for the default of appearance right so if you click on here this will be the default appear appearance robes until uh Viermir. and then there's unmuted armor so this is like what the mod wants uh uh the mod version or you can have the vanilla style that is like without the robes less implants things like that you know we're gonna keep it uh to the default one because the less implants mean that uh, that's why the council doesn't see him changing you know because there was always the question like can i not see the gith uh tubes coming out of his uh, body so it's like less implants at the start and then it gets more and more and more and then the final is with the full implants so you can also do all these checks for same gender um, compatibility right and once you've made all your choices click install and that's it the next mod is the liara consistency project so liara between the games look different you know so and as the name implies they just want to keep it consistent through the entire trilogy so there is just this one file but what i also suggest and what the mother also suggests is if you look at liara right her species asari do not have human eyebrows so i know she's a little bit different from the story wise and things like that uh, but not genetically so what I've also included is the Liara um, face and eyebrow tattoos texture. So it's more Asari looking. So there's quite a lot to choose from. So they'll give you the LE3 face with the LE1 makeup. So all I want is the new black eyebrows, right? So the default is if you just have this mod, because it's not changing anything got to do with the face, because that's what this mod does, right? So this mod keeps the face the same. So this mod over here does nothing with the face uh, so it's a little bit misleading when it says using the default face but it's a default face but it's a default face of the other mod let's say it like that so we'll download this one as well as the project right and remember this is for le1 you'll need for le2 as well as for le3 and if you go there it's also the same options and all we want is Liara's default face with default face with the black eyebrows for LE2 over here. It is the top one, which is the LE2 face with the new black eyebrows, right? But it's up to you. If you want the LE3 face throughout the entire trilogy, go for it. Now the Liara consistency project, as I said, has a couple of sections in it and this will be the last mod using uh this tweaks mod manager for this guide but this also needs um an extra step so for the liara consistency project they're asking you to just unpack first so we'll extract them all in the location that uh, the zip is okay just close this so here it's extracted let's go into it is le1 and le2 see here's a zip as well as a mem so the mem file dot mem here you'll always use a mass effect modder which is that app over here right but remember you do this last this is for textures and things so that's just a texture file and this zip is what they want you to put across into the tweaks manager as well as for le2 there's a zip as well as the mem file and in le3 i think it's just the mem file you should go and do the readme it explains it all over here dlc is what they call like is the zip file that you'll use to install here they always call it a, it's a dlc a downloadable content thing so there's a dlc zip file and a mem file you also note here that you might get some type of um, issue of um, no space but ignore it it's all good 
Okay, so let's just install this. We'll click on the zip, click it over. You should get an error or something like that. Just click OK and click Import. And click Apply Mod. That's done. Go to the next one. This is still important. We still have to do this, this texture um, for it. So don't forget that. But we first have to do all of these first. LE3 is just a mem, so we can leave it for now. So that is all the mods that I have, which I'm playing with, that is using this mod manager, right? If you got more or want to install more, you can install more. But all the other mods is going to use this little guy, the Mass Effect modder. These are, the, the rest of the mods are all texture mods, right? So we still got a ways to go, but for all texture mods, you're gonna use that file, right? But the first file that we need to install, as they say here as well, this is a lot of textures, right? This is like the number one mod, like out there for, um, for Mass Effect, right? It changes a hell of a lot of things like a ton, a ton, a ton of things, hundreds and hundreds of things. So this needs to get installed first. And the, re the reason why you want to install it first, and let me just explain the, the prioritization of texture modding. So whatever you install first, right? If you install something, if let, let's say you install a face texture for Garrus. And, and you install this mod and you've got another mod, another texture mod, which is also the face texture for Garrus. The texture mod you installed last is the one that takes priority and is the one you'll see in game and not the first one. So because of that, before we get to uh, face tattoos, we're going to install a lot of texture uh, mod first. Because this runs throughout the entire base game and just fixes all sorts of gra graphical issues like if you look here, you know, like that's how the legendary edition is and it kind of clears it up as well as a whole lot of different things, you know, fixes like the sky, it's not really skybox, but uh, the presidium sky and before and after. So this mod also takes a long time to install, but I want this as a base for my game. You don't need this texture mod if you don't want it. If you don't, then just skip to the next texture mod section of the video. Once we've installed this, then all of these other mod, uh, texture mods we can install, which is like the eyes, so that this eyes one, if we install it after the a lot textures, then it will take priority and it will use these eye models for uh, the textures and not a lot's eye models, because these are a little bit better, right? So let's first download a lot files or mods. So it's for ME1, ME2, and ME3, as well as the improved static lighting, right? Here's just a torrent for ME1, ME2, and ME3. The torrent's probably have got everything. And you can see 9 gig, 4 gig, 14 gig as well. So it's quite big files. These are uh, acceptable. So let's just download those. And that's why I said, if you could just go out of here, you see there's the ME tweaks mods and the Mass Effect modder mods. So these are the texture mods. And that's a lot mods, right? So we've got the ME1, ME2, ME3, as well as the improved static textures. So over here, before you start texture modding, right? You can't actually do it. We first need to go to the texture manager. And you'll see it's starting to detect the game because we need to create a scan of all the textures within ME1. So let this thing just run for a little bit. Let me just minimize this. Okay, so let this thing just run and I'll catch you once everything is completed over here. Okay, this pop-up will come up once the scan has been completed and it wants to create the uh, texture map of the game. As you can see, it's very important that this that you haven't installed any other textures before you uh, run this um, scan. So the DLC mods are okay, but not the the textures, which is why we done this first. Once you're happy with everything, you click continue, and I'll start scanning textures again and creating a map. And I'll just edit this video until we get to the 99%. Once that second scan is complete, you'll see it come up with this, right? So 
these are just all the different textures uh, and art assets right so now that is done we can just exit and as you can see here uh, this is for mass effect one two and three we're going to do the same thing for this texture manager for mass effect two and three as well so we'll click on this one let it detect the game data and afterwards we'll continue with the uh, texture mapping okay first game is complete we'll continue and let it make the texture map for Mass Effect 2. Okay, ME2's texture map is complete. We'll exit this and we'll go to ME3. Let this run and click continue when it's done. Okay, the final scan is complete. Let's click continue. Finally, the last texture scan for Mass Effect 3 is complete. We can ex exit the texture manager and now we can start adding the textures. So we're going to add the a lot textures, right? So by the way, a lot texture mods does take a long time, right? But it's the only one that really takes that, that long. All the others take, you know, less than a minute, you know, 30 seconds, sometimes 10 seconds. And this is a choice. You don't have to install the a lot uh, texture mods, but if you do, install it first. Otherwise, just install any of your other texture mods. So we'll click on install texture mods. So this is another warning. Can you see all the warnings? And you might have thought that, uh, I might be irritating by warning you to say like do not do the textures first or you know once you do it you can't change everything here tells you you can't change your DLCs from the tweaks manager once you add a texture but we'll continue because we've installed all the DLC uh, mods that we wanted so we'll go to add list here you can't drag and drop so we'll go to where all your texture mods are Minus mods, games, Mass Effect, uh, LE, and we go to, and that's why I said also separate your stuff so you don't get confused. There we go to the Mass Effect modern mods, which is the texture mods. Then we go to a lot mods. You'll see there's nothing there. Why? Because I done something silly and I didn't extract it yet. So we want this app looks for the mem file right so we first need to which is just this file here so i'll just copy this out of the um out of the zip i'll also do the me1 static lighting this is this thing we're going to do both at the same time Click copy and paste or you can just right click and extract but then it just creates another folder and I prefer to have my zips like that and so I can see what is what. Right? This is obviously a big one. The static lighting is a big one. This one is... Let's see how big it is. 10 gig. I can see already. Okay, once those two texture files have been uh, extracted out of the zip, we can go back to the Mass Effect modder. And you can see there now it sees it. So it's just started over so you know what I'm doing again. So we'll just add to list. And we'll go to the folder that has uh, your mem file, your texture file, and we will select both and we click open and you'll see it's over there. And you can either click on one and install selected one or you will click shift and uh, the next one it will select both and then you can install selected mods or just install all mods. At this moment it's the same thing. So we'll just install all mods and let it run. Okay, it's about 100%. And after it goes to 100%, you will see it starting to um, adding the texture markers and stuff. So it will start again, but this time it will go much quicker. Okay, after everything is done, it will come up with this pop-up. Just click okay. It's just saying that everything has been installed, which was those two. Click okay. And exit mod installer. Or install all the other ones if you want to. But uh, if you're gonna follow this guide, the next thing will be Mass Effect 2. We can go back to the file and actually delete the MEMS and just keep the zips. If you want, you can delete the zip as well, but you're gonna have to re-download it if anything goes wrong. So I suggest keeping it. Uh, let's do two and three. It's the same process as uh, ME1 as well as the static lighting for ME1. So I'm just gonna skip to the end of uh, ME2 and three. Oh, and just to be super clear, the ME2 a lot textures has to go 
in the Mass Effect 2 section and the ME3, Mass, uh, a lot of textures need to go into the Mass Effect 3 section, you know? So it's the same process just in this section and then the Mass Effect 3 section. That's just to clarify, to be super clear for newcomers. Okay, finally done with Mass Effect 3's uh, a lot of texture mods. On to the next one. Remember this, um, this mod over here, the Liara Consistency Project? that we installed these over here. That was step one. Step two will be to install the consistency textures for Liara, the same way we did for a lot textures. So let's just go to the Liara consistency mod. Remember this time it's it's not in the modder mods, even though it's a texture. It was in tweak, uh, tweaks mods and Liara consistency project, that folder, and you see there was the mem files, right? So Mass Effect 1, install textures, add, Liara Consistency Project, LE1, click that and open, and install all mods. Do this for LE1, 2 and 3. Okay, that's been installed. Let's go to the Liara Eyebrows mod. Now the next um, texture mod to install will be the Liara face, the eyebrows texture mod. So we'll go to texture, install texture mods. Now all these textures that I'm doing one by one by one, um, you can put them all in, you know, over here and um, install the mods. I like to do it this way so then I have a clear understanding of what I installed last so that I know that this eyebrows is the eyebrows that's going to stick. Since I'm not, I'm not familiar if if it's in this list, uh, if the prioritization is the one that's last over here, or if it's alphabetical or anything like that. So let's just go to add to list. And we go back to the ME modder mods. These are the textures, the consistency project. Yeah, I just uh, I just named it the consistency project because it's all in one folder really, or oh, this is kind of the way I see it as one mod. Um, so we just go into that and we'll take out this uh, texture, copy, we'll do them all now, copy, go back, paste, um, this one as well, eyebrows, so you will see different options, so go copy. All right, see, it's, uh, this is for LE1. We'll click Open and we'll click Install All Mods. Let it run. It should go super quick. Okay, the um, texture has been installed. Click OK, Exit Modder. Go into number two. And we'll take number LE2 over there. Install All Mods again. Click OK, exit, go to number three, add to list, green, install all mods. OK, we're done with that. We'll exit mod installer, end up back here. Let, don't forget to delete the mems again since you already have them in the zips. And we'll go to the next mod. The next mod that I'm going to install is the default uh, FemShape uh, retexture. So it retextures her to give it a higher resolution. So let's just go back to the retexture over here. And just copy out. This is a zip file instead of a uh, Windows zip. So it's a 7 zip file. And we do the whole process over again. Install texture mods, add to list. One, open, install all mods. The FemShape complexion textures are done. We'll exit uh, the modder tool here and delete the files. The next and final texture mod for uh, this guide will be Better Eyes. So let's just go back to the Better Eyes folder, extract them. Can you see? It's always the same thing. 
and time to install. Okay, we're done with the eye textures. We can now fully exit um, Mass Effect Modder, which just close here on the X and delete the file. The final step for the Nexus mods is the hair. Now we want to change the hair. Remember we install these uh, hair DLCs into tweaks and but which hair to choose. So usually if you go to um, any of the pictures they will actually give you the name of the hairs right so that's matcha, a more, butterfly etc right. So we're gonna choose I think it says not any of these it's Vera if I remember yes so it's this hairstyle but you can choose whatever you want right but you have to actually um, scroll down and usually they will give you a set of codes and let's go is it this one changing oh yes so if you go here it'll explain in save trilogy where to change so you say change in raw and the hair div and the hair mods and some of the stuff is like a little bit different since it's maybe an older uh, build of um, say trilogy or something but here is what you will need right can you see over here so we want Vera so Vera is over here and, and as you can see you'll always have just one and one right that's it MDL underscore MDL and underscore div diff right this is also why is it two mdls it's because it's just different versions you know vera h so it's it's not really you won't put both of them in so you have to choose i want this here since if you look okay see that's vera and that's vera h so that's just the difference okay so to do that we first need to start our game and create a save and that's also a good thing since we modded this game so much let's actually check if the game runs so you could run the game from here remember it's going to start uh number two at the moment if you want to change uh to number one you just change it there on top and you can start the game or you can start the game the normal way which is via ea or game pass or steam right so let's just start the game you have to create your character as well so i'm going to show you and in the description below will also be my face code in case you want to use my face code just as a base once we're back in just click on this bar over here now you can't copy and paste via the um, keyboard so we'll just have to use these buttons over here and here's my face just finalize reconstruction complete. and accept confirm identification confirmed everything seems fine and start your game now before you start the community patch settings will come up here right so you can just open this over there or just double click and you can enable or disable whatever you want right change see this changes the name of the alien creature to prevent spoilers until the creature's true identity we want to enable this you see the picture also changes uh, depending on what you enable or disable uh, data recovery so we'll enable that and and this is enabled so we want to enable everything you can choose what you want and we'll click back and back again and we'll click confirm now the game will start with your new face as well as your armor depending on what armor you chose I chose Caden's armor but it will be the light version of Caden's armor which is the white version which I don't particularly like but we are going to get to how to change that as well as well as her hair that's why we started the game to also you know firstly to check the game runs and everything is fine as well as um changing your hair okay i am walking with Caden's white armor okay now that the initial uh, intro is complete and talking to joker also done we are now in the game proper so now what we can do is save the game since we, we want to change the hair as well as I uh, want to change Kaden's armor to be the heavy armor and we're gonna use save trilogy obviously for, for that so we'll save this 
a save one has already been created that's automatic from the game you want to create a new save since it's always preferable to use either the auto save but i don't even use the auto save to use a new save that you a manual save that you created right so we want a new save save the game and that is save number two right if you just want to double check or to save again you'll see it's save number two over there so now we exit the game now that we exited the game now we need to use save uh, the trilogy save editor right so i've already installed it but it's a very straightforward uh, install you know you just go through this process i'm going to cancel this um and my thing should be on top over there this is what you'll get when you um when you open up a trilogy save editor so what we want is we'll go to open and it'll automatically open up uh, your sa your save location of mass effect right but it's in documents bioware mass effect uh, legendary edition open that go to save see here's the different saves for each of the different uh, games and we want the guide right since we created the guide one and there we go guide number two that's our save number two and we'll open it so you can save over the save but i don't like doing that so but first this opens up and we'll go to head morph right so we want to change our hair let's just go back to the hair over here remember you chose your your hair that you want either from the pictures or you know just uh, through the dice and we'll go to let's just put this on the side over here so we can see and it's the mdl and then you'll see diff and diff over there right so let's just go to the vera here that's what we want this one the original one not the the h1 please copy and it says raw so we'll go to raw which is already open and we'll just paste it in there the next thing is hair diff in texture parameters so we'll go to hair diff and we'll change remember it's not the mdl it is the diff the underscore diff name or string press copy go here again paste we also have to we go back up it explains in hair mask as well right so here's the hair mask this has none at the moment the default one that i currently running so we'll put diff over there and we'll click save and when it asks you to save you can overwrite it which is not what we're going to do since i want to keep the save in case anything happens i know that is my save from the game right and we'll go three and we'll click save now when it comes to the armor depending on what armor you chose you know and uh, what, what well what mod as well if we go to inventory you'll see this is the inventory i have at the moment right and that's the 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 onyx light armor but i don't want the onyx light armor i want the the onyx heavy armor so let's go down to so it's human light we'll go to human heavy you can even add things you know as you can see here uh, there's all the different stuff remove that so we're just going to keep this for now because i'm just playing around at the moment but the, and you should play around as well with this and we'll just click save and now i have no problem with saving over this one since this is the save trilogy one so we'll say yes okay now now that we save that we can start the game up again and we'll just start it directly with um tweaks manager once you're back into the game, um, I don't know if Resume will start from the new save that we created or it's from number two, but I just go into load and you'll see, see, there's your save that you created. It'll probably start from the, it looks, it's, it looks higher. Um, but we created the save number three with the new hair. We'll go into that one and load it. And there we, oh, there's Caden's heavy armor as well as a new hair. This is exactly what I want. And you can play your game from here and then save and then you know resume your game as per usual and if you want any other changes you just go into save trilogy and then you change what you need to change and bob's your uncle there you go everything's right to the world now 
Now, once you are here, you have a choice. Do you see here number two? That's the one that we just created. And number one was what the game created. So this number one is that you start the game over. So it's the intro uh, cinematic, you know, so and remember this intro cinematic was your modded femme ship or uh, shepherd, bro ship, if you um, going to use the male uh, shepherd, but it doesn't have the correct hair or, uh, you know, any other mod that you might uh, uh, apply to your shepherd. So you can use the this one over here, which is number two that we created and just play the game from then on. But if you want a full experience, you can open up number one, which is what the game created. So we'll open up number one. Now I've already changed this, right? So you'll see here in head morph, I've already got the very, but after you've changed everything that you want from save one, when you click save, you can't create a new save. It doesn't work like this only for this one over here you have to overwrite it and then when you go into the game you'll just load up save one and then the game will start proper with the intro video and everything if you use your manual save that you've done then you can create a save three or four or whatever and use the new save that you created going forward with that being said let's just continue with the guide the next and final step for those that want it is reshade and how to install reshade you're gonna have to install it three times uh, for each of the different games and let's get to that step right now to start off we're going to install reshade three times so find your mass effect legendary edition uh, installation file so this is uh, where i installed mine and if you go into it you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you where you're going to install it. ME1, 2, and 3, right? So if you go inside ME1, you go to binaries, 64, and it will be here where the Mass Effect 1 EXE is. So if I just go back to ME2, it'll be the same thing. It's binary, 64, and then it's Mass Effect 2 EXE. And you do that also for Mass Effect 3. So the first thing you need to do is go to reshade.me or just google reshade and the first link should come up here's the download button it just drops you down into this section which is the bottom of the page and don't worry about this download reshade 5.7 with full add-on support you want to use this if you don't know anything about it it's this one download reshade 5.7 5.7.0 so you click it and it should download once you've downloaded it, like I have here, I have all the other versions also, since I do a lot of reshade things. Um, save this file somewhere on your computer and keep it since you're going to use, this is the file that you'll use to install reshade onto any type of other game that you want to also install reshade onto. So all we're going to do is double click into the EXE, let reshade open up, let's just minimize this. And you can either wait for the Mass Effect games to come up here, but sometimes it takes quite a long time. So I prefer this method of just going to browse, but then you just go to where your Mass Effect games are installed. So let's do it at ME1, binaries, 64, and just click on Mass Effect uh, 1.exe and click open. And then you'll see it'll fill out over here and you click next. Choose DirectX 10, 11, 12. Next. Since I've installed it already, that's why I have a modified or uninstall um, option. Otherwise, your thing will just skip this part and just go to this section over here. I've also got a preset already um, linked to it. So your thing will look empty like this. You just click next. And over here, here's all the effects. So uncheck all and check all so that you can install all the effects. And click next. And then it will download and install all the effects onto the game. Once it is done, you will come up with this page where it says it's been installed successfully. And you click finish. Repeat this for Mass Effect 2 and 3 as well. And, and the next section will be how to install my reshade presets. 
After Reshad has been installed, if you go back to your Mass Effect Legendary Edition um, game installation folder and you go back to uh, ME1, 2 or 3, you should see in the binaries Windows 64, there's a new folder there as well as the reshade files that have been installed. So let's just keep this window open because we're going to copy over my presets. Now after you download my preset zip, within the zip you will find a version 1 for classic opera. That is what the showcase uh, looked like and modern, modern opera. The only difference is this is more classic sci-fi movie um, style like look and feel. And the modern version is a more saturated kind of Star Trek, uh, new Star Trek looking um, preset. And within each version, right? So version one will have ME1, 2 and 3. Version 2 is the same thing, right? 1, 2 and 3 for the different games. And each one will have a ray tracing preset. And for those that don't have ray tracing, the non-ray tracing preset. See, it's just an I and I file. So all you have to do is copy this. This is the ray tracing preset for ME1. Let's copy and paste it in here. We're also going to put in the non uh, ray tracing copy. Paste that in. All right. What we will do as well, because I'm not going to go through all the games. We'll also do this for the modern uh, preset. DGI. Just copy you'll see it'll be version 2 version 2 is the modern version paste okay so that's the preset now to install pascal's ray tracing preset we're going to go to this folder over here and just go into it once and then after you've downloaded his preset I will just go to mine. You see, I got all the other versions. Um, you will have the latest version, maybe even later than this one. If you go down, if you go into the zip, you will see a shaders and textures folder, just like that. All you have to do is copy this, copy and paste it in and replace whatever files that need to be replaced, right? I've already got a file, that's why I said nine. Mine says nine files replaced. Yours might say like three or two or nothing. Sometimes it doesn't replace files. Uh, just uh, replace them. As well as in Pascal's Discord, there will also be a motion estimation shader. There's an optical flow version as well as the motion estimation shader. This one doesn't work as well as this one over here. So we'll just go into this and you'll see this is just an FX file. So we'll copy this. And the FX files are all in shaders, not in textures, but over here, you'll see FX and we'll just paste it here. Paste. I've already got mine in, but I'll just replace it. And there you've installed your ray tracing um, effect to work with my preset. The next step, we're going to launch the game. You should see on the top here, our reshade will uh, kind of come up here and say it's compiling things and your thing will stay there because it's the first time that you've um, installed Reshade. And then all you have to do is click the home key. Okay, once you're in game, just tap the home key on your keyboard. Um, I changed mine to page up. We'll get to it now about to change that. Because in Mass, Mass Effect 1, when you click the home key, you toggle also your uh, your weapon. And, you know, you also it as well with the home key. This is a secondary button. Because when I was doing the preset, obviously the field of view would change to kind of aiming. So I just changed it to page up. But since you're installing it fresh, your thing will be um, home key. Also, the first time you open up the menu, you should you won't see this. You will see, um, do you want to go through the tutorial? Just say skip the tutorial because this is a guide as well. So the first thing you need to do, this is for the ray tracing people. You have to go to edit global uh, definitions. And you will change this part here. This reshade depth input is reversed. Yours might be set to one initially. All you have to do is set it to zero, and then don't hit, don't hit enter. Just click away from it, and then it should change, right? And then if you just go back to it, just to make sure that it actually took your um, change. The next thing is we go to add-ons. This will be unselected. All you have to do is. Tick it once, this copy depth buffer before clear operations. And that's all you have to do. Do not tick this other ones. 
Now to make sure that you can actually see your depth, all you have to do is search for display and you'll see here the display depth will just tick activate this uh, effect and this is what you have to see. So if you go back to the global definitions and you set it to what it was originally when you first started um, up the game and uh, opened up reshade it'll look something like this you see this is incorrect so that's why we have to change this to zero and then click away after after it looks like this we can uninstall that if you don't see it here it's just because it's lower down or something right so to bring every all the effects up that you've activated already just go to active to top so it's just saying all the effects that are active bring to the top like that because reshade has this functionality that you can click, click and drag the effects where you want it anyway so we'll deselect that and now we're going to select our uh, my preset and load it up so all you have to do is go to this blue bar open it up and select the version that you want the ray tracing or the non ray tracing Okay, so we want the classic ray tracing version. So it's the classic RTGI version 1. And we'll click open. And this is it. So if you go down to this section, you can also double check that the ray tracing is working. Like over here, it should look like that. And of course, for the non-ray tracing version, is uh, you just have to switch over here. Now to change how to open up Reshade, after you've tapped the home key once to actually just bring up this menu, you go to settings and you'll see over here it says overlay key, that's for this menu. If you click on this once and you type any button right on your keyboard, F, can you see there it changes to F, tap the page up key and you'll see it'll change the page up key and then just click away, click anywhere else, right, just to deselect this section. And go to the home page and now when you tap the page up key again it'll close it open it close it open it and you won't have to use the home key now i'm in a different section of the game uh further on where i'm i don't have any weapons but the initial start of the game you have weapons and things like that on the deck and that's when you want to change your reshade and that's what you'll do okay this is the final and last bonus section so this is more for ray tracing people, but uh, I'm sure there are some uh, people that won't use the ray tracing preset that might want this. So in the game, when you have the cutscenes, there's like a, a depth of um, field effect, right? Like a blur for, for the backgrounds and things like that. So for ray tracing people, they know that that depth of field, that blur effect, especially with older games, it's kind of funky with the ray tracing feature within the preset. So you always try to avoid that. And to do that in Mass Effect, we're going to get rid of that so everything looks clear. In your game installation, you have to do this three times again for each of the games. You go to Mass Effect, Bio Game, Config, and go to Gamer Settings. And you'll see there, depth, you have to put this in. So when you first get it, let me just copy this. It's going to look like that. So all you have to do is go to just press enter once and type in depth of field see there there's the of and the field and the equal to and then capital letter f and false and you save this file you do the same for mass effect 2 it's again in bio game config gamer settings over here it's at the bottom of system settings depth of field false And in ME3, of course, it's the same thing, but it's only game the settings in ME3. And you go all the way down over there to system settings, depth of field false. And that's how you will get rid of that depth of field effect. And the game still looks 100%. Everything is just clearer now and nothing is blurred out. Well, that concludes this very long tutorial for Mass Effect. I hope this helps anyone that uh, is looking to mod Mass Effect, uh, especially the newcomers. That's why I took it step by step. 
And if you like this video, please give this video a like. Uh, it will be much appreciated. Comment down below and let me know how to improve uh, my videos. Or if you disliked something, just let me know. And maybe subscribe. Because there will be more videos like this for other games in the future. And something big is also coming that I'm working on that's going to take a while. It will take a while. But uh, hopefully you guys would enjoy this. Can't say much, but I'll just leave you with that uh, teaser. There's actually two things. Anyway, cheers. Bye-bye.